uh, the businesses should be owned by the workers and moving on from there. But I don't necessarily like uh, have like strong opinions on like centralized economies and shit. But it's like, you know, it's just like you get into like these weird fights with people, you know, like we were uh, Leah, we're can you hear us? Oh, we were talking about when you mentioned uh, the, the flyer you saw and that they were Trotskyists and that you weren't a Trotskyist. And oh, everything. it's so annoying when they it do is. that. Well, it's well, just, <laughs> it's, it, to me, it's the annoying part of like, like I have a lot of people come into my comments and they're like, what do you identify as? Are you an anarcho-communist or a Marxist exactly, leninist yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I, I go by communist because like that is the furthest that I can push the Overton window and that I think is the best position for my, for my, what I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I would also say socialist. That's why my, like, my handle is socialist sleuths. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to go and be like, I am a Maoist. Uh, yeah, anarcho-syndicate. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 <laughs> <we're> bro, <laughs> if you ever say that, like, if you walk up to a person on the street and you're like, hi, I'm an anarcho-syndicalist and I would like to talk to you about politics today. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna listen to you you sound like you're I, in a cult like <laughs> i know right and like and people get into like bitter arguments over it it's like oh we're all maoists here no trotsky is the last okay what are we doing what are, what are we doing here and, like, and then uh, and, oh my god or the ones i don't know if you guys have talked to them enough to where then they bring up the spanish revolution and i'm like they're like the trotskys are like we can't trust the marxist leninists because of the spanish revolution I'm like you mean something that happened before any of us were alive really? Oh yeah. boy. Like, yeah, it's wild. It, it is pretty funny. It's rough out <laughs> it is here. Like funny. This, is, this is why I define myself as a leftist or a progressive. It can mean any <laughs> and all of the above. I get I get so much flack from other people who are communists who are like, why do you say leftist? That's so bad. And I'm like, are Jesus you... Christ, really? Leftist isn't good enough anymore? Wow. Yeah, because now they're we like, are we, should just be... we are so fucking annoying. <laughs> and I'm like, and they're like, you should be more honest about it. I'm like, it literally, if you go to my bio, it says commie. What what more do you want from me? Mm -hmm. It's like, a purity oh. test. Yeah. It, yeah, we love our purity test. It's tests. the we, no we true Scotsman, whatever. It's just yeah. it's, it's... do not like <laughs> look, look. So I think. I think it was Desmond who asked me about Kyle Kalinske when I first started doing the show. And like, he was asking me about, oh yeah, cause he was talking about breaking points. That's right, that's how we got to Kyle Kalinske. And he asked me how I felt about Kyle Kalinske. And I said that Kyle Kalinske played a major role in my political uh, evolution, like eight, 10 years ago or something. Like he played a pivotal role into taking me from Damn. like a light conservative to who I am today. So I owe him a lot. And, uh, mm -hmm. As time has gone on, I have moved further left than him. Um, but like his analysis is still pretty solid for the most part. His analysis, as, but yeah, like it's way better than you'll get from most uh, mainstream outlets. And yeah, he has gotten kind of lived up lately. But I can deal with that. I got. I can. Like, what I cannot deal with is the fucking blonde hair and earrings. <laughs> Shit, I can't do it. Like, I can't. Like, like it's, it's just like, what ha what is going on here? Like, What, what um, are you doing, Marshall? The, the way that he, doing, no, literally, the way that he rips the vape, too, I'm like, Kyle, Kyle. It's just like, it's, so, you know what's funny? I, I introduced my girlfriend, my, well, my ex-girlfriend now, uh, but my, uh, to Kyle Kalinske uh, a couple years ago. And uh, every once in a while, she'd walk, she'd walk in, I'd be watching and everything. And then he started doing the show with Crystal. And my girlfriend would sit down, she'd watch, she'd be like, he's in love with her. I was like, what are you talking about? She goes, I can see it. I was like, what? That's insane. Dude, and that's on you for not noticing that. That was I didn't notice. from a mile <laughs> away. I didn't that know, was, really. It was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. see it at all. I didn't see it at all. Wow. Blindsided oh, I saw completely. it 100%. To be fair, I also just figured that with how much that they've worked with each other over the years, they're both single at this point. They both do the same thing, love working together like just convenience yeah, sake yeah. <laughs> let's let's go for like, it yeah. there's no way there's no way i don't know if it worked out and now obviously we do but like at the time i was like they definitely have tried they may not have worked out, like, <laughs> whether it's gone anywhere like, yeah. like they, they have they're more than just friends <laughs> so, <laughs> well hey maybe yeah maybe i'm just blind to it I, maybe that is the case i don't know but uh so but i do blame crystal for this evolution of Kyle's style that I am not digging because uh, it makes sense for her because she's dressing him like the guy she went out with in the early 2000s. And like, that's who Kyle is for now. And he's like, oh, yes, dear, I'll go for it. I was like, oh, God, I just, I, I don't know. But uh, it's funny.
Now, it's and funny because I I don't follow Kyle at all, so I'm I, this is you know what you're talking my, about. Yeah, it's not my realm, but no, <laughs> it, it's 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 incredible how much I'm like technically like a fucking like content creator on the left, and like I know nothing about oh, the the, the, the left content sphere, like <laughs> nothing. The- the best is when my friends from high school who aren't political will text me and they're like, hey, you you make TikToks. Can you explain this trend to me? And it's like a dance trend. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I you do know. make TikToks, but no, I'm not dancing. It's so, you know what? It's funny about that. I forget that side of TikTok even exists. Like uh-huh. I, I, I'm not even aware of it. It's like, oh, that's right. Most people still, you, that's the dance app. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's wild. That's so true. I. <laughs> oh, or, really like, funny. Like she also, she also, she was like, hey, she sent me this like cute little fashion edit, and she was like, can you explain to me these transitions? I'm like, no, no, no. I cannot. <laughs> what do you take me for? My phone crashes every time I try to record a video. Like, no. Leah, have you been making content? I haven't seen a lot of your content lately. Okay, I was about to say, yeah. I I mean, yes, I have, like, I haven't stopped completely. I did cut back a lot, mainly just because life was just so busy. Um, Mm -hmm. And I am probably going to keep cutting back, especially with med school starting in the next, like, few months. Uh, I need to move to the med school Mm -hmm. and then prepare for that. So mm. I think that I will just be stepping back from it. But I honestly, all of this Israel-Palestine stuff has just got me like, I don't know if you guys are feeling it too, but like, it's so hard to make content because if I cover it all the time, I feel one, like that's not my place. Like I should be amplifying voices that are Palestinian for it. And like, it's not like, it's just, it's not my cause to be the front line of. So I will amplify and lift others rather than me doing it. Cause it's just not my expertise. Um, but then on the flip side, making content that doesn't talk about it feels like, like it's just all I'm thinking about. So mm-hmm. I've been struggling with that. 